understand that I am not quite ready, but I think that soon I am. I know I like it, this thing, the way that you amaze me, but I'm scared as hell. This broken heart. Hey, y'all, welcome back, or welcome if you're new. So, we are continuing with the spring cleaning of my mom's tiny home, which is where me and the boys are living at currently and have been since about early March. And for those of you that are new and don't quite know what's going on, hi, hello, my name is Lacey. I am a mom to five boys and four that still live at home, two that are in school through the day, but school is almost out for a summer vacation, which I'm excited for, for them to be honest. Can't wait. But I'm also going through a divorce and this will make my second divorce. I've been with my husband for 17 years. My first husband, I was with him for six and I have my two oldest son, my two oldest sons from that marriage. My current marriage, um, there, it's just, it's not able to be saved. I have talked about it in my last couple uh, videos that I've posted if you wanna go back and know more uh, just so I'm not having to repeat myself you know um but anyway let's get on with it we are giving this bathroom a good deep clean and it does need it like i've said in um my earlier videos my mom had been um a little under the weather and so a few things that needed done daily didn't get done daily because she just couldn't she cracked her rib and so she was pretty much you know couldn't move around a whole lot if you've ever cracked your rib before believe it or not i've actually broke my tailbone and so if it's anything like that i've never actually cracked a rib so um not that i can think of anyway but yeah if it's anything like breaking your tailbone then it was hard to move around like that so i can just imagine so we are going to get this bathroom cleaned up and i've just been doing some very much needed spring cleaning around here and of course my mother appreciates everything but i do it because i love my mom and i know that she would appreciate it being done so we are going to start out scrubbing the bathtub as you can see and i'm cleaning off the walls and i do get a swiffer i put a microfiber cloth on the bottom of it and i spray it with a lysol cleaner that i have and i just go to town um then i use just hot water out of the, the faucet there at the bathtub now there are some things that they're small things that do still need to be done in her bathroom but it's not anything that makes the bathroom not being able to be used it's just small things that um need to be finished up my mom's not lived in this home for very long she did have it built uh right after my dad passed away uh well actually a year or so after my dad passed away and um so there's still a few things that do need to be done for the most part though it's finished completely so um yeah we're just going to go ahead and get all of this cleaned up we're wiping the walls down around the bathtub because my kids they splash water in this bathtub they like to play with their toys in the bathtub so there is i'm sure some kind of water residue or soap scum up on that wall and i'm going to get it down scrubbing the bathtub like i said it does need it this was a task that was not even in reach for my mom at the time and she is doing better for those of you that say my mom well wishes in all the videos she is doing a hundred percent better she's back up walking around and able to move around a lot better she does have to still take it easy though because her rib is still sore anyway the bathroom is all that we're doing in this video but it gives plenty of motivation there's plenty of motivation from this because this bathroom really does need it it's been a good hot minute since it's been deep cleaned and so yeah we're, we're doing it making moves trying to get away from this life i'm living same old things every day wanna change this feeling wasting no saying try to keep me down no time for all your playing yeah even if you doubt me now you should know i don't care about the things you say yeah. i don't even know what i want no more no more no more yeah i'ma figure out what to do with all my time so after we get done with the bathtub we're gonna get started on the toilet and i don't really show the toilet that much because well one of my kiddos they had a little bit of a tummy bug so yeah it's just you know not for tv if you get my meaning so uh but i do tackle it next and 
Once I'm done with that, we're going to tackle the sink area, and it's not really that bad. It's mostly the table beside the sink that my mom keeps, like, her beauty products and lotions and things on. I've also put um, my perfume that I use daily, which, for those of you that know, I use the brand Kinsey. Um, I also have a few other things, like a brush, some makeup, you know, and um, then we're going to hit the little table that is beside of the bathtub. Now, the drawers of this little table do need to be sorted through and organized through, but I'm not going to do that on this day because this is a lot of my mom's prescriptions and a lot of her medications and just a lot of private stuff. So, I'm going to do that at another time off camera. I'm sure you guys can understand. And we're going to be using the Lysol that I bought way back when and raved all about uh, because this Lysol is just amazing. And because I don't have my Jaws cleaners with me here at my mom's, I'm loving this Lysol and it is really doing the trick. As you guys can see, as I'm cleaning off the toilet tank to the toilet, it pulling all of that scum off, all of that dirt and grime. And like I said, my mom doesn't usually let things get this bad, but she's been sick. Then she fell and she cracked the rib. So she's been down and out, um, not able to do a whole lot of cleaning, uh, barely able to do daily tasks, you know know so I'm her daughter she's my mother I love her I'm gonna get it done for her yeah, I don't even know what to do right now right now right now yeah I'm gonna figure out what to do with all my time I know life yeah I don't wanna try again try again try again try again I don't wanna try again try again all we have with those memories time to make some new I'm wide awake, we're not getting younger If you still love me, then please just let me go I won't stay with you, I need to live my own life Yeah, even if you doubt me now You should know I don't care about the things you say Once I'm finished cleaning the side of the bathtub, I'm going to go back to the toilet, and this essentially gets it done. Um, I just go back and disinfect and get it, you know, the toilet lid cleaned up and get just a few little odd and end pieces there cleaned up around that toilet now that I've finally got it cleaned, as you can see. And then we move on over to the table beside of the sink because, like I said, the sink, it's pretty much clean. Um, it got cleaned that morning um, after the boys got done brushing their teeth before school, so it really doesn't need anything. Uh, the table, on the other hand, it needs quite a bit, as you'll see. So we're going to get that done. And uh, then I'll give you guys an update here in just a moment. Best in me, we had everything we needed. You 
So for a quick update, there's not really a whole lot that's changed, believe it or not. Um, we are just working on getting the rest of our things in storage. We've got about two loads left to move. Um, but like I've said before, um, I have had help. Now don't get me wrong. And I did go and uh, rent a U-Haul and all that good stuff. But everything just does not fit in my SUV. So I did have to rent a U-Haul. And I did get a couple of friends to go and help on one day for about six hours. We've gotten it down to just very few boxes. Um, like I said, about two loads. And then my kitchen table um, still needs to be moved along with uh, a few other odd and end big things that won't fit into my SUV. So um, a friend of mine that was helping, he totaled um, his truck and that was the only truck uh, that I was able to get to help besides the U-Haul. So I'm probably just gonna have to go rent another U-Haul to be honest, uh, to finish getting everything, which, you know, whatever. I'm gonna have to rent a U-Haul to move everything uh, once we get a house, which I have found a little house down the road from my mom's. I'm waiting to find out about it. Now, it is a fixer-upper, do not get me wrong. It is not anything that is, you know, uh, newly built, ready to move in, beautiful, or anything like that. It's a fixer-upper, um, but it's just so cute, and I think that it would be worth it, so that's what we are attempting to do plus it's within a mile of my mom and that is essentially what i'm going for um for the simple fact that my mom's health is not the greatest neither is mine to be honest and it just makes more sense to be closer all of my family is in the same area where my mom is at so it just makes sense um so that's what we're going for other than that um i don't really know a whole lot about what's going on with josh I'm hoping that he's getting the help that he needs, but you know, that's uh, neither here nor there at this moment. And other than that, we are, you know, getting by every day, making do. And as I've said before, my kids are resilient, plus we're comfortable at my mom's, and that makes a big difference. So that's what's going on there. You never needed. What was it all for? I don't know you anymore. We go back, we go back, we go back, we collide. Losing track, losing track, even got no sound trying So before anybody comes for me over this magic eraser, no, this is not the same magic eraser that I have cleaned everything else in the bathroom with. I promise. Uh, you all know how I am with my dish sponges. I cut them in half or I'll cut them in quarters depending on what I need for them. My mother does about the same except for she doesn't use dish sponges a lot. She likes the magic erasers though. So she did have like little half pieces, quarter pieces. She did have I think two whole pieces which is what I started on the bathtub with. And I did use that one uh, for the back of the toilet uh, seat. But it got tossed and I got another little chunk of a magic eraser out. So, you all know me by now, so don't come for me and say, why are you doing that? That is so unsanitary. You all know me well enough by now to know that I am not going to use the same of anything to clean one thing on another thing on another thing because that is, like I just said, unsanitary. So, don't worry. Everything did get switched out and different magic erasers did get used. What was it all for? I don't know you anymore. We go back, we go back, we go back.
deep cleaning the bathroom was supposed to be the whole video, but my Timu came in um, earlier than I expected, so we're going to do a Timu try on haul. Um, I'm having to uh, do this in the bathroom at my mom's. As you guys know, we're staying at my mom's. I've said this so many times. Um, so I'm working with limited space, so you're likely not going to be able to see my face much. But that's not the point of this part of the video. I'm going to show you guys this clothes that I got from Timu. Also, um, I will have a link and a coupon code for you guys if you'd like to try them out and you haven't yet. So this is one outfit that I got from Timu and I love this outfit. Guys, do not pay, pay attention to my very, very white legs. I need to tan. I don't like tanning beds. I do do a uh, selfless tanner, so I do need to do that. So, um, or sunless tanner. I do use sunless tanner. I need to do that. So anyway, let's check out this outfit. This is a romper and I did buy the white shirt. It is a crop shirt, but right there's the end of it. Um, it just comes with the romper. So, but it is so comfortable and it's like a silky top feel and it's got two pockets on either side and i absolutely love this i mean this is and as you guys know i've been moving things um into storage and all that good stuff and i have wore this to move at least once and it's so, so comfortable so let's check out another one now this is a pajama set and it is more of a crop top as you can see than anything um but the pants are high-waisted i'm guessing that that goes along with this being crop um so comfortable and it's got the same like silky type of um material and as you guys know i'm only 5'2 very vertical challenged um so i'm short but these are not too bad and they are so very comfortable So, yeah, this is perfect for one of those cool spring nights because, as you guys know, I live in Kentucky. We experience all four seasons. In the summer, it's very hot. In the spring, it tends to get hot through the day, kindly cool at night. Perfect for a spring or even a fall night. But this is so comfortable. As most of you all know, I love the off-the-shoulder look. And I've seen this shirt and I thought, wow, that is so cute. That's going to look so cute with my ripped um, skinny jeans that I wear all the time, it seems like. So, um, I didn't buy a whole outfit for this. I did buy two pairs of blue jeans that I'm gonna, gonna show you guys, just holding them up. Um, but the reason for that is, is because I have tried them on. They are a little looser in the leg area than I would prefer, so I've got to take them and have them taken in just a little bit. I'm still working on gaining all of my weight back that um, I lost whenever I was, you know, before the separation and i was so very stressed anyway i love this little shirt this is too cute um so this outfit i did not buy together i bought these two pieces separate um i couldn't find one like this that went together i may not have looked hard enough i don't know but the shirt just says mama with the heart as you can see just, just says mama with a heart and then on the back it says the same thing that the shorts on the front say and these do have a drawstring in the front But um, I didn't want it to be all dark, so I did go with the white shirt in the gray pants. And these two have pockets on both sides. And they're very comfortable, and I do like the outfit. Again, don't pay attention to my legs. I'm going to be using my sunless um, tanner this weekend, so hopefully I'll have that took care of. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the blue jeans really quick. Like I said, I'm not going to put them on because I've already tried them on and they're really loose in the legs. As I said, I'm still working on getting that weight back. Um, I'm getting there though. 
fingers crossed. Okay, let me show you the blue jeans. Um, I do have a couple more orders coming in, so I'll have you guys another haul here soon. Okay, here is the first pair of blue jeans. These were supposed to be skinny jeans. As you can see, the legs do look a little bit. They fit me perfect up here, but down here needs some work. So I'm gonna take them and have them taken in. And these were supposed to be capris, but again, the legs are way too big. So, yet again, I'm going to take them and have them taken in. So, I'm kind of hunkered down here a little bit so you can at least see the top of my face, but I'm trying not to kind of overdo it. I've got something behind me that I'm about to knock my head on, so I'm kind of just staying as still as I can to do this part. Um, we are coming to the end of the video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this day's video. Um, I'm trying to get more videos out for you guys. Like I said, I've got some more hauls coming. I also have a sponsored video coming up soon. So um, I will be getting those out to you guys as soon as I can. But I do hope that you guys enjoyed this day's video. I hope you got some motivation from it. Don't forget to check out the coupon code and the link in the description box for Timu. Save you some money. Buy you some cool stuff for cheap. And I think that's got it till next time. Love y'all. Stay safe. My mind's accelerating When I'm thinking about the good times that we had